Hi, my friend. How are you? Hello, Angel Narciso. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Nobody, only you and Christina. <laughs> yes. Don't worry, they are going to appear.
Welcome, Karen Yesenia. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Okay. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. <laughs> Angel, what happened with your computer? It's okay, teacher. It's okay now? Yes, teacher. I see. Yes. Thank you. Okay, it's good to know. Today you are going to use uh, your notebook, so please I mean that you have it there with the pencil. Okay, we are still waiting for the rest. Remember that today we are going to make a review about the topic that we have started during this week.
Welcome. We are still waiting. How are you, Rafael Ernesto? Everything good, teacher, and you? Excellent. Okay, very well. Okie dokie. I don't know what's going on with the rest of uh, the student. Maybe they have problem. Sunday in November in the May Okay, we are still waiting. I don't know what's going on with the rest. 
Do you know something about it? No? No idea? Okay, we are going to start with you and then can add later. Teacher, lo que está en el WhatsApp no logro visualizarlo. Está como borroso. No sé qué es. Okay, what I sent to the WhatsApp group is uh, like a concept of the word uh, people person that we are going to study today. But don't worry about it, I'm going to explain you. As soon as we got to the point, I'm going to tell you what is the meaning of the expression. Okay, we are going to start. Uh, welcome back. I've been waiting for the rest. But uh, well, maybe they have some problem. I don't know. They they have a they are in a traffic jam or something like that. Okay, Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana Cristina. Present. Okay, uh, Ana del Carmen. Ana del Carmen. Angel? Present teacher. Cristina Stephanie? Present teacher. Welcome. Fatima El Carmen? Fatima El Carmen? Giovanni Alexander? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Harrison Manuel? Person? It's not here. Uh, Juan Carlos Palacios? Present teacher. Okay, uh, Karen Yesenia? Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Karina? Present. Linda? Linda? Maria Julia? Present. Uh, Marlene? Marlene? Nancy? Nancy? Norma Carolina? Rafael Ernesto Hernandez? Present teacher. Okay. Uh... Raquel Judith. Present teacher. And Suleima Veronica Melgar. Suleima, it's now here too. Okay, welcome back. We are going to start um, making a review about the previous class that we had yesterday. Okay, hold on a second, please. Let me close something here. 
I hope that all of you get the material in order that we can start making the review. And at the same time, uh, you are going to, to have uh, your notebook and a pencil. Okay, what we are going to do now is that you are going to write down as many words uh, you have learned during this week. You are going to make a list, try to remember, and start writing in your notebook, please. As many words you have learned during this week. And then we are going to share it with the rest of the class. Go ahead now, please. ¿Comprendieron la instrucción? Yes. Yes or no? Lo que hemos visto toda la semana. Pizza. Yes. The word that you learned during this week. Agarre un lápiz, su cuaderno y comience a escribir todas aquellas palabras que ha aprendido durante esta semana. Y luego revisamos la lista a ver cuáles son. Okay, as soon as you finish, just let me know. But we need to be honest in this case.
Okay, who wants to share with me the words that you consider that you learned during this week? Just let me know, please. Volunteer who wants to tell me? Teacher, hey. in the first class, Excuse uh, me? in the first class, uh, over to use a uh, can, uh, can't, and can't. Mm, yeah, but, but in this case, today, what I need is that you make a list of the new word that you have there. Okay, teacher. Tell me. The new word for me is missing, long, ugly, then more, sign. Kobe trusted. Okay. Excellent. Mm. Only. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Um, branch is precious. Only that. Only that, okay. Somebody else? Me teacher. Tell me, Giovanni. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. Comfortable. Sign. Sign. Okay. Excellent. Somebody else, please. Me teacher. Ana Cristina. Yes. Come on, preguntar. Uh, Cuando naciste, when were you born? Okay. Es y a baila, bailable. Esa no sé cómo se pronuncia. Okay, listen. Y bailable. Disponible. Y bailable. Born. Available. 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 Okay, somebody else. Somebody else, please. Hey, teacher. Okay. Uh, hypertension, a uh, born, a spirit, a brown, no sé si así se pronuncia esta palabra. Time and until. 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 Okay, and the one that you don't know how to pronounce it, what, what, what is it? Like abroad, abroad, ah, abroad. Ah, ab abroad. Abroad. Uh -huh. Okay. Welcome back, Linda, Yvette, Marcus. Thanks, teacher. Nice to see you again. Yes, I'm sorry. Yesterday, I couldn't connect to me. Oh, okay, I couldn't connect it. <laughs> yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, somebody else want to say something about this? Do you want to share with me uh, the words that you uh, learn? 
Just let me know, please. Okay, thank Me you. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Anna del Carmen, ciao. Uh, Spritz is a bachelor. Bachelor, B bachelor. Oh, a bachelor. Oh, BBA. BBA. <laughs> ah, Bachelor Business Administration. <laughs> bachelor Business Administration. Only teach. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let us continue working. Uh, I'm going to show you the interaction and then you are going to get in trios. And you are going to identify with your classmate what you think are the characteristic of a good manager. Listen. You are going to identify which, with your classmate, what you think are the characteristics of a good manager. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, let me see. Yes. Let me see how many people I got 12 now. I mean, uh, 11, I have it. So, it's going to be four. Four group. And you are going to talk about that, okay? I'm going to give you four minutes in order that you can do that, okay? And try to write down some ideas, please. Here we go. Ana Cristina, Ana Cristina.
Okay, welcome back. Teacher, a little thing. Excuse me? A little thing. I gave you four minutes. And the rest uh, of characteristic, we are going to discuss each other right here. Okay, who wants to start saying something about it? Raquel, Ana del Carmen. Okay. Come on. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. uh, in a respons responsible leader sides empathic. Okay, responsible, good leader, empathic. Okay, three characteristics. Okay, somebody else, please. Thank you. Me, uh, teacher. Giovanni, Alexander. Okay, a visionary, tolerant leader. Oh. Okay, somebody needs to mute the microphone if you are not. Okay, Giovanni, I'm sorry, leader. That's it. Uh, visionary, tolerant, visionary. leader. Okay, visionary, tolerant, and leader. Excellent. Somebody else? Visionary, tolerant. Somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Christina. In my case, my manager is humanitarian, um, solidarity with employee, um, serious, and yeah, I, I, angry. Angry? Really? <laughs> A little. <laughs> A little. <laughs> Uh -huh. and, and, and you consider that those characteristics are really good? With, when, um, o sea, cuando, when is necessary, is angry. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got you. Only that, teacher. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Teacher, teamwork. Uh -huh. Okay. Somebody that uh, promote the teamwork. Okay, excellent. Yes. Excellent. Somebody else, please. I'm still waiting. There, the rest of people. I don't know what's happening with them. No Christmas now in the Christmas time and they are missing classes. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they are working overtime or something like that. And I, I would like to be pretty sure about that. Okay, somebody else want to say something about? Do you have another characteristic? No? Hello? Okay, I'm going to share with you some characteristic that a good leader need to have, okay? Talking about manager. 
Okay, I have it here. A list. And I got a, a, a question. What makes a good manager? A good manager how develop a specific set of skill that help them lead their team to success. The following skills are important if you want to be a successful manager. Who wants to say something about the phone? One? Hello, who wants to read it? Only one place, number one. Me, teacher, Com uh, com communication skills. Okay, and another that explain me, what is that? What is communication skills? Uh, it's like a, be able to tell instruction, instruction and tell to employees uh, his, um, I don't know, his task or to deberes. Duties. Duties. Yes. Okay, that means that uh, communication skill refer to the ability to convey the meaning of what he or she wants that the rest of people do in a clear way. Okay, what about the second one? The second one, please. Somebody want to read it and explain it? Word ethic. What is that? Explain it, please. It is when I have um, como tacto para tratar con los trabajadores. Ah, okay. Ética. Ethic? Yes. I don't know. Um, on, in, Spanish, in, in Spanish, it's difficult to express. <laughs> no, but it's, it's going to be in English. In, in English, it's difficult. In Spanish, it's easy. Uh, <laughs> <it's, it's, it's, laughs> no, 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 no. You have to do it in English. Go ahead, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Somebody else want to say something about this? What is that? Tell me, what is the communication skill? Uh, well, we're at it. We are talking about work ethic, right? In order to be a, a good manager, uh, it's necessary to have a healthy work ethic that places value on working uh, her and performing in the best way, right? Okay, number three, please. What is that? The three. Um, oh, teacher. Sorry, Adam. Orientado a meta. Uh, read it in English, please, and explain me what is the meaning. Only one, only one. Uh, my teacher, my job deals about goals. Oh, so okay. the, the, the boss or manager has to push, <laughs> push to us for to Another? achieve the goals. Yeah, oh, okay. But ha has to, to find a way, the right way. To do it. To do it, yes. Ah, okay, excellent. And it uh, has to be a polite way. Yes. That means that, mean, that, mean that he look for uh, good orientation for you 
and good technique in order that you follow. Okay, yeah. number four. We call it uh, set achievable goals. Okay, number four, please. Number four, please. Industry knowledge, what is that? A good manager uh, need to have uh, industry knowledge. What is the meaning of that? Tell me. Hello. Teacher, um, maybe you should know what to, what to do at your job. Okay. That means that you need to be able to demonstrate in a, in a deep uh, understanding of their company and its place in the industry. And, and if you had to teach how to use a machine, you have to do it. That means that you know what you are doing. You know your job. Okay, number five, positive and, and, and inspirational. What is that? Tell me, you need to be positive and you need to inspire to your crew in order that they can uh, reach the walls. Okay, tell me. That means that you need to be a strong leader, you know, to encourage teamwork and uh, to empower your team to succeed. Okay, number, number six, I guess. Encouraging and supportive. Supportive, what is that? Do you know what is that? No ideas? No? Good manager helps team members advancing their career by giving the credit when they perform well and highlighting their achievement in a staff meeting. That means that uh, a manager has to give uh, credit when somebody's doing something right. He or she has to believe in the in, in you. Okay, uh, the number seven conflict resolution method. What is that? Conflict resolution method. That means if you have a pro a problem in your company, the manager uh, has to be able to to solve it to look for the best way, how to resolve. What about number eight, the role, the role model? What is that? What can you understand about that? Tell me. Give me some ideas about that. That means that uh, you as manager, you are going to be the model that all, all the people are going to follow and you are going to say I want to be like my manager because he all the time or she all the time is inspiring me to do everything well 
yo quiero ser como el gerente porque él se, siempre me inspira esa fuerza para seguir adelante y alcanzar esos objetivos. Yeah, that is the way that you need to follow. And the number nine, honest and transparent in every process. The, the good manager has to be honest and transparent. Everything has to be clear. And the number 10, talk about empathetic, ginger. I guess they're empatico. Okay. In the material that I send you, uh, you are going to find out more example about characteristic that you need to talk about. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Okay, in your book, I need that you look for the rhythm. Read this uh, internet article five requirement of the perfect manager. You are going to read it by yourself. And later on, we are going to uh, You are going to read it in front of the class. Okay, I need that you go to your book. On page, let me see what is the number of the page. 17 is the number. And in the number one, say be a people person. What is the meaning of that two word? Or those two word? What is the meaning? People person. Do you remember that I think you something in the WhatsApp group is the meaning or the explanation of those words? What the concept said, people person is someone who is good at dealing with other people. That is the concept, the meaning. And also, uh, someone who is friendly and enjoy meeting and talking to people. We call it people person. And you have an example like Donna was a people person. She was warm, outgoing, and an excellent listener. Another example could be uh, they try her, but it's just not a people person. Yeah, that is the meaning of those words. Okay, you have it there. If you don't have the material, you can read it in my screen and try to read it by yourself. And later on, we are going to talk about it.
Okay. Remember that uh, the solid code talk about five requirements of the perfect manager. Okay, I'm going to read it, dear people, person. Narsox is people, and we are looking for a manager who likes people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should not have people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computer than people and understand claim better uh, than English, you are not a good fit for our managerial team. The second one, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentation, uh, public speaking, mail, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update the employees on their own and the team performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customer and provide status information when asked. The number three is a be technical. Teacher, Hello? Dejo de compartir. Really? Let me see. Yes, no veo nada. Jesus. Let me see. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I got it here again. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let me get bigger. Can you see my pointer? Yes. Yes. Okay. And the third yes. one, be a people person. What is that? I already gave you the concept. Have you heard before these two words? Ya habíamos oído esta expresión de people person? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. Aha. Ok. Entonces hay que echarla por ahí en, en la alcancía. Ok, I'm going to read it again because uh, I need that you get familiar with the, with the sounds. Be a people person. Narsox is people and then we are looking for a manager who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computer than people and understand 
uh, playing better than English, you are not a good fit for our managerial teams. The second, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback for upper management and customer and provide status information when asked. And the number three is uh, be technical proficient. The product we create at uh, North Sox are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code and feature but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and method for success. And now having watched Happy Feet or the March or the Penguin does not qualify you as technical proficiency in uh, Linux. Carlos teamwork. Teamwork is important or at Narsox. Not only are you required to encourage the best practice for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have not doors at NARSO for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space manager. You are required to sit and work with your staff. I like this. And the number five said lead by example. The best manager lead by example at not socks. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at all time and to be able to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees and using the same washroom as you, your employees. It's all about doing instead of quantificating and doing the right things. Okay, now we are going to talk about this, about what you understand, because that is the main purpose. Okay, I'm, I'm all ears. What do you understand about the forward? Your own words, tell me. Jesus, hold on a second. I need to check up again the attendance. Veamos la asistencia. No me recordaron. Estábamos emocionados con la lectura. Well, I consider that, uh, well, later on, we are going to identify all the new words for you. We have a technical vocabulary in the reading. And you need to, as I showed before, you need to make uh, your own vocabulary. But real, you need to do it. Okay, Ana Cristina Chavarria. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen. Present. Eh, Ángel. Present teacher. Cristina. Present. Fátima. Fátima. Not here. Giovanni Alexander. Present. Okay, um, Harrison Manuel. Harrison Manuel. Not here. Juan Carlos Palacios. Present teacher. Okay, um, Karen Yesenia. Present teacher. Eh, Karina. Present. Linda Iber. Present teacher. Eh, María Julia. Present teacher. Marlene. 
Marlene. Nancy. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Norma Carolina. No. Eh, Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Suleima. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And we go back to talk about the reading. Okay, who wants to share your ideas about what you understand about this reading? Now you had the opportunity to participate. All of you had the chance to speak and tell me what, what you think about the reading. And at the end, I'm going to tell you what I think about the reading too. Because every time that I'm teaching something, I, I'm learning too. And there is something that I like in the reading. Of course, that uh, right here in El Salvador, sometimes it's really difficult to see something like that. But maybe it's happening in some factories or companies. Okay, and all ears, just tell me. It's your opportunity to do it. Hello. Hola. We have five different uh, aspects or uh, requirement. Just tell me, okay, teacher, I'm going to talk about number two, number three. Tell me. Reading, teacher. Oh, yes. words. In your own words. Um, me? What do you understand? Can't tell you still. Share your ideas. Okay, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Come on. In Samana, your should be comfortable. Uh, with con resolution conflict when I, I have conflict in work, the manager is comfortable. Uh, comfortable, comfortable. Say, comfortable, so say the, the reason. Huh. That means that uh, he need to be you need to be? Yeah. ¿El necesita hacer qué? Good uh, manager in attend. You, you have it in, in the number one. He yeah. need, need to be a? Ah? Be people person. Aha. I need that you start using this uh, these words. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Somebody else wants to talk about the second one, the third one, the full one. Tell me. I need that you share your ideas. 
But try to do it. Go ahead. You can do it. Tell me. Um, be a good communicator. Tiene the abort communicate effective. Uh, using or methods, including visual presentation and public speaking. Uh, using emails, uh, face to face, good communication is a two way to strip. Only teacher, more or less. Okay, using, using emails. Using email. Yeah, using email. Okay, thank you. Somebody else want to say something about it? Just write your hand and tell me, teacher, I want to say my ideas. I want to share my ideas. Okay, tell me. Hello. The perfect manager should be a people person, be a good communicator, be technically proficient, encourage, encourage teamwork, let the example. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else? Hello. Give me your point of view about the reading, please. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Somebody else want to say something, please tell me. In my case, I identify with uh, number five, lead by example. And I learn in, in a, in American company, I learned this. Because the best manager lead by examples. This case in this company, uh, main nurses. Where all managers are required to dress and not professionally at all time. That means that uh, you need to be neat in your dress. And also, um, if, if the employees work in uh, weekends, the good manager have to be there too. And another scene that I like is that they use the washroom with uh, the same uh, bathroom with uh, the employees. Because sometimes some companies, manager, they never get in touch with employees. They just give orders and they do this, do this. No, 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 no. Uh, it's a, in a better way, what we have to do is just uh, let's do it. Yeah. But if, but I have learned. But just tell me your ideas. I know that some of you want to speak, but are uh, hesitating. Sé que algunos están queriendo darme sus ideas, pero todavía están con dudas, lo digo. Come on, you can do it. Now it's your 
the, in the number five, the, the manager doesn't have days off. <laughs> yes, they never had a day off. They had to no. stay in the company. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like that. I like that, you know. Okay, somebody else? No? Okay. I gave you the chance, the opportunity to speak, the time to do it. Le di la oportunidad. El momento, pero no quisieron. Okay, let us continue then. If you don't want to communicate with me, okay, let me something else. Okay, we are going to work in exercise number two. And we are going to answer or solve this exercise. Are these staining true or false? Okay, you are going to answer it by yourself. And then we are going to compare. Number one, it is more important important to manage system than people. Two, to be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. Three, in order to be technically proficient, even one's opinion is enough. Number four, parachin teamwork is as important as being part of the team. Number five, if you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekend off. Okay, you can discuss it. Now I do it by yourself and later on we are going to discuss with somebody else. If you don't have the material, make a screenshot now, please. And let's do it. Okay, now that you have uh, some ideas about it, create a breakout room. In order that you can uh, share some ideas. OK. 
Okay, you are going to help each other. Let us know. Okay, welcome back. And now let us solve it. Uh, number one, teacher. Uh, hold on, hold on, I'm going to carry it with you. Okay. 
Okay, read it please and tell me if you consider that is true or false. It's true. Okay, but I need that you read it. Mm. Okay. It is more important to manage system than people. True. Mm. Mm. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm. Listen. Number one, it is more important to manage system than people. Do you consider that is true or false? Yeah, the other true. False. Mm. It is more important to manage system than people. Ah, oh, system. Okay, false. <laughs> yes, it. <laughs> okay, somebody else. The second one, please. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Number two. Volunteer. Okay, read it. To, to be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. I think is false. To you think that is false? Yeah. Okay. Listen. To be a great communicator. One should use as many tools as possible. True. Why do you consider that is false? Because, because it's in um it's important. The action, no only, only communicate. But, but the main idea said to be a great communicator. One should use as many tools as possible. Uh, the key word is tools. Oh, okay, yeah. One should use as many tools as possible. That means uh, you can use cell phone, computer, different kind of tool in order to communicate with uh, with employees. It is true. It is true. Okay, number three. Somebody. Somebody read it, please. Number three. Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. In order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is a no. It's false. It is false? Yes. Yeah, in order to be technical proficient, giving one's opinion, it is enough. Yeah, it's not enough, only just one opinion. Okay, number four. Number four, please. Only one, no more than one. Me, teacher. Okay, and. Uh, and, and no puedo pronunciar la palabra y me corrige. Encouraging. The word is uh, as important is as being part of the team. True. Okay. Encouraging. Team word is an uh, important. Encouraging. 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 The word and is then, as and then important. The other word is being. Ah, uh, being. Being. As important okay. as being part of the team. Okay, it is, thank you. It is true. true. Okay. And the last one, number thank five. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Number five, please.
Fun, please, number five. Me, teacher. Okay. If you are a manager, you can stay extra work and have with your off. It is default. Okay. If you are a manager, you can skip extra work. And how we cannot? It is fall because you can skip extra work. That means if you are a manager, you have to, to work on weekends, as Linda said. Okay, thank you. Hay algunos que no los he oído hoy que participan. I don't know what is happening. Hmm. And I need that all of you participate. It's necessary, it's mandatory that you do it. Okay, uh, in order to continue, you are going to work in group of three and you are going to help each other to remember the vocabulary and the structure that we have studied. And you are going to write down a seven line paragraph about uh, your worst experience and personal information, such as studies, experience, uh, and another job. Do you consider that you can do it? Yes, Oscar, you, you, you can do it. But um, I don't know, maybe it's, gonna, it's going to be better if you do it uh, by yourself, I guess. ¿Cómo consideran que le sale más fácil escribirlo? Más creo que cada uno, ¿no? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Let us do it now. Es que nos da más tiempo. Ajá, ok. Y así no necesitamos estar en breakout. Run, okay. Es que esos tres minutos no ayuda. <risa> sí, no. teacher, nos pone como más estresados, estresadas. Son más de tres, no les he dado tres. Son four. Four minutes, I know that. Casi uh, cuatro. Yes. By two, eight. Ok. If you want, I can, uh, let, me, let, me, let me see if I can share the interactions. But in this case, you are going to do it uh, by yourself. Okay, what you are going to do is that you are going to write a seven line paragraph about your work experience and personal information, such as studies, experience, and in other jobs. Okay, clear ideas? Okay, if you have a question, I'm here to help you. Remember that you are going to talk about your work experience, personal information. You are going to include uh, studies, experience, another job that you have had. Is that clear? Yeah. 
Oh, okay. In my kitchen. Ok, no, no, no. Les iba a dar un ejemplo así de mí, pero no. Mejor de ustedes. Ok, I'm going to wait for you. But I need to see your face that you are working on it first. Question, question. No teacher. No question, okay.
Okay, don't forget the information that you are going to put in your paragraph. Words, experience, personal information, studies, and so on. Try to put it there. And the homework that you are going to have for the next week is going to be uh, to make a vocabulary of the new words in the reading. And don't forget that uh, as soon as I finish the class, I'm going to take a look at the platform to see if you have worked in the activities. Okay, I consider that uh, you have uh, some information and I need that you share it with me. Okay, I'm going to ask, uh, let me see. Angel. Hello, Angel. Not yet, teacher. Okay, no, but I, I want is that you give me a number from one to 12. My name, teacher. Number? My name. No, Mr. I Narciso. need. No, 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 hold on. I need that you give me a number from one to 12. Necesito que me dé un número del uno al 12. Ah, bueno. Uh, yes. Number 10? 10. Okay, let Thank me see you. who is it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm sorry, Karina, but it's your turn. Okay, Karina, share with me and with the class your information. Teacher, I'm not finished yet. Okay, but uh, just share it what you have. Don't worry about it. All right. I only have a experience of one year in accounting system, and my studies are only, I don't know how to say, how do you say bachillerato? High school? Uh, only high school and I study. I study in the university. Um, marketing. Only. Okay. Give me a number, please, from one to twelve. Um, five. Number five. Yes. Okay. Let me see who is it. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry, Linda, but it's your turn. 
Okay, teacher. Well, I was born on October 5th, uh, 2979 in Usulután. Ah, okay. I started, yes, I started in this city from basic school to high school. Then okay. I started to work since 2020. 20, I always have worked in sales area. area. Only that, teacher. Okay, thank you. Give me a number from 1 to 12. But take into account uh, the number that uh, some of your classmates already said. Yes, and number seven. Number seven, okay. Number seven is Karen Yesenia. Hello, Karen Yesenia. Hello, teacher. My name is Karen Martinez. I live in San Salvador. I am secretary of profession. I was born December uh, 15. I wore size uh, on 1990. I am single. I gra I gra how do you say graduate? Graduated. I graduated. Okay. I graduated from high school in mathematical physics. And mm -hmm. I, academic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Physics, uh, mathematics. Okay. <laughs> yes. And I be, began to work as a counter clerk at Simon Stores. Ah, okay. Then I work in a commercial dis, distribution. How do you say distributor? Dis, distribution. 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 Then in um, Ocean Book distributor uh, this happening between um, 19 no one how do you say 90 I mean no remember 1990 1990, uh, 22, then, then retail for a better job and for self improvement and says 22, I work in um, of the best companies in the country, Swiss laboratories. Laboratorio Suizos. Okay. Only that. Okay, thank you. Nice. I like that. Congratulations. Thank you, teacher. You did a great, great job. Okay, somebody else, please. Uh, give me a number, please. Give me a number. Um, 11. 11. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 11, uh-huh, Julia Gomez. You are the one, Julia Gomez. Hello, teacher. Hello. My name is Julia Gomez. I was born in San Salvador. I am 29 years old. I... Actually, I live in Lourdes, Colón, and my profession is industrial engineer, and I am work in Sigma Curato Flex as a customer service, okay. and I. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice que nací en año, tal año? I was born. Okay, I, I was born. I was born in 
February 5 of uh, How do you uh, uh, tell me? Tell me in Spanish. El año 1992. Na 1992. 19. Okay. Only that teacher. Okay, thank you. Excellent. And give me a number, the last one. Ya se salvaron de este, ya se salvaron, okay. Mm, number three. Number three, are you Suleyma Melgar? Okay, teacher, I'm, I'm a Yuda. Okay. <laughs> bueno, okay. bueno, my name is Suleyma has grown in Salvador, El Salvador. I graduate from Univer no, Francisco Gavidia University. University, okay. uh, Give a degree in public accountant. I have 50 J of experience in financial management. Management. My management. My history first has in Belgium um, from 2000, 2005 a uh, degree um, of crecimiento profesional quise poner pero um, uh, professional growing professional growing and the manager um, to working in Plan International, where oh. I I stay and as an account assistant, you need a becomes becoming a financial analyst of project. O sea, oh. quise decir que inicié como asistente contable y que actualmente estoy como analista financiera de proyectos, pero algo así lo puse. Okay. Bueno, my, bueno, my dream, my dream is continuing studying and preparing in English language and with had a lot in my work. O sea, mi sueño es seguir eh, preparándome y estudiar en inglés, el, el idioma inglés para que me ayudará en mi trabajo. Eso quise poner al final. Excellent. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Okay. As you can see, you are doing well. Se dan cuenta que sí pueden. Necesito porque eh, han avanzado. Y si participaran más, les aseguro de que al final de este módulo, you are going to be able to communicate, to speak in a fast way. And that is the main purpose for us. Thank okay. you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, veamos quiénes nos quedaron para la próxima. Porque ya es time to go. Okay. Uh, ya identifique quién es. For the next class, you can share the ideas. Y espero no haberles incomodado por lo de la técnica de los numeritos, okay? No, teacher. No, it's a good idea, teacher. It's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's see, let's do this because a veces, uh, sometimes people don't like to do it in that way. But remember that I'm doing this kind of thing, maybe in order to develop in you skills. Eh, a mí me gusta este tipo de técnica porque mi propósito siempre es desarrollar en ustedes la habilidad de hablar. Entonces, ese eh, para mí, eh, de todas las macro habilidades que el idioma tiene, eh, para mí, en lo personal, la más importante es speaking, porque es la primera que nosotros hacemos. Es lo primero que nosotros comenzamos a balbucear y luego comenzamos a hablar hasta que ya hablamos. Entonces, que vamos a la escuela donde nos enseñan a leer y escribir. Entonces, ese es el proceso. And I remember the first time that I was in the United States, um, I was trying to look in a, in a school, the way that they teach how to, 
to read. Me llamó la atención eso y yo dije, vamos a ver si aquí usan algún silabario o algo para enseñarles a leer y escribir. It's totally different. Totally different. <laughs> that they, they use it. Yes. That's, you know, and right here in El Salvador, when uh, some kids start learning English in public school, we tend to do it in a different way. That is another issue, okay? Entonces, por eso es que en mi caso, eh, para mí, eh, por ejemplo, estuve trabajando en, una, en un kinder y nunca usé la pizarra. Solamente me sentaba con los niños y comenzábamos a pronunciar y a hablar y a hablar y a hablar y a hablar. ¿Okay? Porque eso es lo que hay que desarrollar primero, que es el speaking. ¿Ya? Va, va bueno. Bueno, ahí están son, son ideas. Okay. Um, I don't know if we have any questions so far from here before we go. I need to check up the, the list. Teacher. Tell me. Teacher. Teacher, today mm -hmm. is the last day to, to do the homework. Not necessary. Okay. Don't worry about it, but... Uh, no se preocupe, lo normal tendría que ser para que no se atrase, tendría que ser hoy. Pero si no lo puede hacer hoy por X o Y, lételo sí. mañana. Sí. Tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Sin falta. Ok, no te preocupes por eso. Dicho, no hemos podido resolver lo que le preguntamos ah. ayer. Eso ah. le iba a decir, Dicho. Ok, ok, ok. No sé si nos puede ayudar, Tiche, porque todas salen una mal. pista, porque ella nos dio una pista, pero no. No está clara la pista. <ríe> Ajá. No. Lo pusimos, pero no nos salió. Ah, ok. Maybe, uh, how can I tell you? A lo mejor quizás no me, no me comprendieron la pista, como se la di, porque... Eh, en realidad no puedo darles la respuesta así de una, sino que tengo que llevarlos así con luces, ¿sí? Pero, eh, let me give you another advice in the WhatsApp group. Dijo que habían dos palabras que eran lo mismo, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Ahí, de ahí comencemos, a ver. Hay dos, dos palabras. palabras. Sí, sí, que son lo mismo. Y, y, y se recuerdan que cuando Uf, hicimos el ejercicio de esa parte... Eh, yo mencioné eso y me dijeron, ¿y de dónde saca si aquí no está? Ahí ya, ahí ya les di la respuesta. <risa> Hagan memoria. ¿Qué? Teacher, yo lo puse tal cual, nos lo dio ese día y no me sale. ¿Puede? Yo también, ¿Puede? teacher. Le puse, porque yo le tomé un screenshot, pero no sé. Ok. Uh, I'm going to give you the second in the WhatsApp group, the second idea. Y si ya con esa no, entonces vamos, okay, a, buscar una, vamos a buscar una tercera. Ok, teacher, entonces no okay, para teacher. hasta mañana porque vamos a estar. <laughs> ok, at, at the end of the class I'm going to give you another tips. And remember right, that teacher. today I need to talk with, uh, let, me, let me see, Norma, Carolina, are you there? Norma, is not here. No, I teacher. See. I don't see any no. Norma. Jesus, I'm going to stay alone. I'm going to stay alone because no está Norma. Well, well, what can I do? Lo resolvemos en los 10 minutos, teacher. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Difficult for me to give you the answer. What I can do is just to, but okay. <laughs> Another thing that I would like to know if, if you have only just uh, in number four, that problem or in another uh, activity. Only that? Only that. Only number four? Only four. Okay. Only four. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me see. How can I tell you this? Okay, try to look for the, the, the two words. That one is uh, 
How can I say this? Okay, you have the word staff in in the sentence, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you had been trying to use another word. Do you remember that? Which one is? Employees. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Be careful. You need to use only one and try one first and then the another one. And that way you are going to fix it. Following the, uh, the structure, right? Okay, uh, I already gave you another tips. I know that is a uh, play now. Let me check out the, the attendance before we go. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see, I'm sorry. Okay, Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Angel. Present teacher. Cristina Stephanie. Present teacher. Fatima. Fatima is not here. Okay, uh, Giovanni. Hello. Fanny, Person Manuel, Juan Carlos, present, eh, Karen, present teacher, Karina, present, Linda, present, María Julia, present, okay, Marlene, Nancy, present teacher, Okay, uh, Norma is not here. Uh, Rafael. Rafael. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Suleima Veronica. Uh, present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you on Monday. Um, I don't know if you solve it, solve the problem. It's not, I'm going to give you the third one, but it's going to be in the WhatsApp group in order that you can do it. And, and don't forget the structure. Don't forget the, the structure, okay? Okay, thank you for being here with me. Les agradezco haberse quedado el resto del tiempo. Aclaro, eh, no es que yo los haya querido tener hasta ahí. Me <ríe> quedamos. Sí, no, les, les aclaro eso porque después van a decir, ay, no estuvo demasiado tiempo. So on. And try... Teacher, oh, hello. teacher este, bueno, lo voy a decir en español porque a mí me cuesta más pronunciar. Pero oh. eh, la última dinámica que hizo con los números tal vez podría hacerlo, porque a veces, bueno, le voy a decir dentro de mi experiencia, a veces yo quiero participar, pero me da tanta pena o miedo, pero ya con la obligación que salgo ahí en el sorteo, me voy a animar a participar. Entonces, Fíjense para que, que lo tenga en cuenta, sí. yo sé que somos adultos y todo, pero acuérdese que a algunos nos cuesta más, somos más tímidos. Sí, lo tímidos. único que le, le explico. Uh -huh. eh, tengo un montón de, de, de actividades que hago, pero fíjese que acá, así honestamente le digo, he tenido como un cierto miedo de hacerlo porque no vaya a ser que alguien se resienta y diga de, de que así no quiere, que mejor se retira por eso. Ustedes han observado de que yo busco la forma de que ustedes hablen. Uh -huh. Yo estoy tratando de invitarles a cada rato y decirles participe, busco aquí. Y a veces a mí eso me, sí me, me, como que me, me hace así, sentir así, no una decepción, sino que 
me siento como triste, solo. me siento triste cuando les invito a que participen y yo digo, ¿será que no me prenden? ¿Qué será? Es que a veces no es eso, Tiche, sino que a veces a uno le da pena. Pero bueno, a mí es, en lo personal me da pena pero, bastante. Pero, pero es precisamente este proceso el que debemos de usar para limar todo ese tipo de asperezas. Es como lo que le sucede a los estudiantes en la universidad. Lo mismo. Cuando ellos tienen que hacer una exposición, una conversación, les da pena. Pero yo les digo, jóvenes, aquí es la oportunidad de que ustedes desarrollen sus habilidades para cuando ya salgan de acá, ustedes no les va a dar pena pararse enfrente de cualquier persona y hacer su discurso. Eso sí. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Ok, dicho. Entonces, en mi caso, como le digo, estoy en toda la disposición. Les he venido diciendo, todos tienen la oportunidad de expresarse para que al final del módulo eh, todos se sientan eh, como que alcanzaron en lo que estaban persiguiendo, pues, ¿verdad? Okay, okay teacher, thank okay, you. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you next week. And don't forget, I'm here to help you. Thank you, you teacher. Eh, y ahí, Good por, night. Ahí, por ahí les envié un documentito porque les va a servir. Ahí hay una información muy buenísima que la sugiere eh, el nuevo programa. Así es que Visiten. Ok, bye okay. bye. Thank you, bye bye. Bye bye, bye. teacher. Good night. Bye. Happy